on that. And we also have a very special guest who watched the launch with us here at the Kennedy Space Center. Let's get over to Megan Cruz, who is with one of the astronauts who walked on the moon almost 50 years ago. Megan? Yeah, I am really honored to be standing next to Apollo astronaut Harrison Schmidt. I really cannot believe I'm standing next to you. It really is an honor. Oh, it's my pleasure. I'm happy I'm here. Oh, well, we're, we're so thrilled to have you here. And actually, we're going to pull up some old photos of you. Why don't we take a trip down okay. memory lane? Hey, why not? <laughs> so for those who don't know, Harrison was the last person to step on the moon with Apollo 17 in 1972. What picture are we looking at right here? Well, this is the crew, uh, Ron Evans, uh, Gene Cernan, myself. Uh, this is sort of the publicity shot with the lunar <laughs> rover. We were the th uh, third mission to have a lunar rover uh, that we drove around on the surface of the moon. We actually landed in a valley deeper than the Grand Canyon. Yeah. And, uh, and the rover enabled us to visit both sides of the valley and uh, really just had a, not only a great time, but a uh, tremendous scientific return. How does it feel to look back on these pictures? There's you on the moon there. To look back on these yeah. pictures and to be standing here 50 years later <laughs> and you just watched Crew 4 launch. Well, of course, I'm happy to be standing here 50 years later. <laughs> Good and, point. <laughs> and the, uh, the uh, launch uh, of uh, the Falcon 9 and the Dragon uh, to the International Space Station was spectacular. Uh, yeah. It, uh, uh, you know, those of us that rode a Saturn V into, into space, you know, are a little bit jaded about, about the smaller rockets, but uh, still uh, it really was something, and, it, and on board was a geologist, yeah. Jess, Jessica Watkins. Yes, you got your special invite today from Jessica. I Jessica mean, what do you think about invite? that? That's great. Jessica and I have worked a little bit in uh, Houston with the lunar samples and the like uh, during the Apollo uh, 11 celebration. Uh, 50th anniversary celebration and she was very kind enough to invite me and my wife here my wife Teresa Fitzgibbon and they uh, uh, we sort of consider ourselves the uh, the Jessica team oh that's so <laughs> sweet just what do you think about the fact that there is a geologist on board the importance of having a geologist for this mission well for for me I did not have a chance to gain the kind of operational experience that Jessica is getting uh, to, uh, uh, I gained my operational experience from p learning to fly T-38s and helicopters, and then a lot of simulator time. Uh, she's gaining it in, in space, and that's very important. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I hope it'll stand us in good stead for being part of one of the Artemis crews that goes to the moon. Yeah, absolutely. Artemis, let's talk about that. That's going to return us to the moon. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> it's crazy. It, it, it's been a long time. There have been several attempts. Uh, uh, to get us back there, uh, uh, the, uh, the two Bush presidents both tried to get something going and, and it didn't uh, materialize, but maybe Artemis is the, the third time's a charm. Yeah. And uh, we're looking forward to it, believe yeah. me. Do you think we're ready to go back to the moon? We need to go back to oh, the moon? Oh, I think we've been ready for a long time. The technology is there. The big difference is NASA had to develop the technology for uh, Apollo, uh, advanced old technologies as well as new technologies. The thing that's changed is the commercial sector yeah. has moved, taken the NASA technologies and moved forward, and now NASA has to integrate that into a new lunar program such mm -hmm. as Artemis. And you saw that tonight with the Falcon 9 launch. That was uh, developed by the SpaceX Corporation, mm -hmm. and uh, it's been a, turned out to be an extraordinarily reliable vehicle for. Uh, launches in general and in particular now the fourth launch to the International Space Station. Yeah well like you said I'm glad that you're here and I'm glad that you will uh, that you witness Crew 4 and then also that you'll see Artemis launch soon so thank you so much for being here. Well thank you for inviting me it's great and my best to everyone in NASA and keep doing great work. Perfect thank you so much back to you guys.